Hey guys, and welcome back to Guys of Arcadia. When we last left off, we were exploring Nasser. I believe that's how we call the, how you say the name anyway, the hot desert. So, let's continue, shall we? Now we need to go take our friendly little uh, camel, that's definitely not a camel, for a walk. Now we've got to go talk to this guy, haven't we? Welcome, my friend. Are you planning on crossing into the other part of the city? I. That's it, Dabu. I will take a Dabu. Thank you for graciously allowing me to use your Dabu. Now, how do we get to the other part of the city? Through here, I believe. Aha! Oh, apparently that was automatic. Cool. Now, unfortunately, we can't, uh, you know, get off the old beaten path here, which is a shame. Would have been nice to have a little bit of exploration. But, god damn it, the precious uh, Dreamcast only had so much RAM. Right, well, let's have a little peek around here. We should find another chest. Uh, I should get my chest list out, actually. Probably be a good idea. So, 300 gold. Hey, not bad. Go throw that on the pile. Now, what's next? Right, let's go back to our dabble. Such a fun word to say. Dabble. How are you? Dabu. Uh, now, there's a smaller building here somewhere as well. At least, if memory serves. Or do we have to just, like, get off the Dabu now? Maybe. Dabu. Um, okay. Let's get the fuck out of here. Hey, dude. What's going on? Boy. Uh-oh. We have a cat attack. We have a cat attack. We have a cat attack. Cat block is in full effect. My dad's a merchant. My grandpa was a merchant. And my great grandpa was a merchant too. I'm going to become a merchant and travel the desert on a dabu. Just like everybody else in my family. Uh, yeah. Uh, good for you, I guess, kid. Uh, let's have a little look inside this tiny building. Ah. Hello. Do you know anything about dabu? Welcome, I am Kilifa, seer of the Red Moon. I am the most renowned fortune teller in all of Nassar. Travelers from across the skies come to me seeking knowledge and wisdom of the moons. There is no future I do not know, no path I cannot see. Hark my words and heed them in your journey. Ah, uh, not today. I see. If you ever need the guidance of the Red Moon, do not hesitate to return. I pray for your safety in your travels. Yeah, uh, we're good. If I ever decide that I've fucked myself and I need to unfuck myself, I will come see you. Mm hmm. Um. I thought there was a little chest here somewhere, unless it's in here, of course. Oh, this is very fancy, isn't it? Very fancy. Okay, cool. Right, after some reading, we need to go on an adventure. Let's go. Although, should we talk to everyone in here first? Yeah, might as well, I suppose. <laughs> Looks like there's some funk going on in here. Tavern Geep, hail sailor. Do you wish to see the new dancer too? Uh, Belend is dancing. <laughs> Belina is dancing is Maramba's newest star attraction. You definitely don't want to leave here without seeing her. Uh, yeah, cool. Um, we'll, we'll speak to her, I suppose. Those slender legs, that soft, smooth skin. Easy? Jesus Christ. This guy's got a chub. Uh, that silky red hair. She's poetry in motion. The first time I saw her, I knew it was love. I need to come every day just to watch her dance. Fucking simp, honestly. 
Hey, Belina, over here. Hey, blow off. Can't you see I'm trying to watch the show here? What? You need a ship? Yeah, sorry, kid, but I've got plans of my own. See that Belina over there? I'm going to ask her to sail with me tonight. Go find a different ship. Yeah, okay. Well, hello, handsome. I don't think I've seen you around here before. Maybe not, but I know you. If you've come to rest your weary feet, you've come to the right place. Make yourself comfortable and stay a while. Uh, actually, I'm a little busy. I don't think we have time to relax just yet. You know, handsome, here in the desert, we say that you should always drink water whenever you can. It's important to rest now and then when you're traveling. Come on, stop rushing around and sit down, sit down. Ah, we fucked that up. Yeah, I guess that's unavoidable. Bugger. Didn't want to do that just yet. Right, one second, guys. Okay, let's try that again, shall we, with a little bit less failure. Now, first of all, we want to go down here. Yeah, we don't want to talk to uh, Belina just yet. Belinia, Belinia, whatever her name is. The belly dancer. Belly dancer. Now, let's go and explore this cave of mysteries. Although the camera angle here is a complete load of old infected anus. But that's uh, kind of normal for these old games. Alright, what have we got in here? Oh, actually. We could just continue on through here. Ah, or can we? Maybe... Ooh, there's a switch. Wait a minute. Possibly just bamboozled ourselves. Possibly. Right, what's that one? That's the excavation arm, which is useful. Gee, I wonder who that's going to be used for. Ah, uh, we can actually push the button again, which is curious. Okay. Cool. There's a lot of weird stuff down here, isn't there? Alright, let's come back to this particular place later. Let's go the other way. So we've got an excavation arm. Who, uh... I sure as hell can't imagine who that could possibly be used for. Maybe it's a new character that needs robotic arms. Who knows? Uh, where does this go? Let's have a little look, shall we? Ah. So, there we have our moonberry. So, we've got a moonberry and we've got the excavation arm. Lovely jubbly. So, I can have my checklist. I can mark those two off. So, eh. Uh, whoop. And whoop. So they've only got one chest left to find down here. So let's go back down the other way. Now this one's going to be a little bit more of a pain in the balls. <laughs> okay, so I th think we want to go this way first. Something like that. Let's hit this switch. Oh. Okay. And that opens up what exactly? Another switch. Oh my god, this is so easy to get turned around. Because obviously you can't see what you're doing. Right, so that's now blocked off. Okay. And there's another switch there. And that's where the excavator arm was. Interesting, interesting. Now we can't go through there yet. Um, okay. Uh, right, so that's the one we pushed. Let's give this one a tug. And see what exactly that opens. Well, I didn't open that one, but... Let's go out here. Gate puzzles. Gate puzzles are fun. Ah. Hello. 
What happens if we push that one? Right. So that now traps us in here. How trapped are we? We're pretty trapped. So we don't want to push that one just yet. Hmm. So unfortunately, push it again. And it does open this little path down here. But, aha. But we're stuck in here. And we're stuck there. So, yeah, okay. That's probably not the button we want to push. Alright. So, let's find ourselves another switch to fondle. What about you? Okay. That. Ah. Right. Maybe. Just maybe. Nope. That did not do what we wanted it to do. Because we need to have this. Oh. Or did it? Pretty sure. Where's the chest that we need? Damn it. If only we could get a better angle. Which we can't. Well, that's a kick in the knickers. There's the chest we need to open. Okay, that's the door that we need to open. Now, with that other button pushed, does that help us? Doesn't look like it. But I think there's three buttons here. We just gotta find the right combination. Which is not this combination. Right, one second, guys. Okay, that took all together way too long. And that gives us the gem of fluidity. Now, what does that exactly do? Uh, items. Uh, guess it's a consumable. Maybe? Unless it's here. Yes, it is. Boost magic, def magic defense. Or boost defense and magic defense. And protects against stone. Actually, not a bad... Ah, she's already wearing one. I'll say not actually an awful bit of kit. Although it does debuff her quite a lot. Now, Warrior's Rune. I mean, yeah. It's really not good for him. Okay, cool. Let's get out of here. And continue on our grand adventure. Our most grand of adventures. Across the skies of um, Arcadia, I guess. Yeah, that was a pain in the balls. Oh, great. Uh, we're still stuck down here, aren't we? Kind of, I think. Maybe not really. Now, there's actually only three buttons to push here, but... There we go. It will, And no, it wasn't actually as complicated as I thought it was, but it's annoying enough. <laughs> yes, three buttons sound simple, but suppose I better mark that off the old... Okay, had a bit of a recording error there. Not quite sure what happened, but we managed to get ourselves the gem. Uh, I kind of had to restart my computer to get the game to record again, but we got a gem of fluidity, so we managed to get it. Uh, not the world's hardest puzzle to solve, you know, you've got three buttons to play with, but we got it, we got it. So, so far we should have all 29 chests that we've came into contact with. <clears throat> yeah, I had a few issues recording from the Wii U. A few issues recording this game, actually. Anyway, we've got it. Okay, so, 
We've pretty much talked to all of these people, haven't we? Hell, Sailor. Yeah, we want to see the new dancer, sure. Let's go have a look. You can tell she's important because she's a relatively high poly character. Uh, well, hello, handsome. I don't think I've seen you around here before. If you've come to rest your weary feet, you've come to the right place. Make yourself comfortable and stay a while. That sounds like a great idea. That actually sounds like a great idea. It's been a while since we've had time to relax. Please stay. Stay as long as you like. Sit down, sit down. Oh, in the side, I guess they sit on the ground. Yeah, it feels good to finally sit down. Well, we shouldn't rest too long. We've got to look for a ship. I wonder where we can find one. Maybe we should try the docks. Makes sense. I can't believe that Captain Drachma just left us here. I'm sure he had his reasons to leave, but I wish he said something sooner. He didn't have to leave us here in the desert. Right, Vase? Vase? <laughs> yeah, he's got his eyes on the prize. <laughs> Faze, have you heard a single word I've said? I, um, uh, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm listening. You were talking about the desert. You're acting like you've never seen a girl before. If you could pry your eyes away from that dancer for a few seconds. <laughs> okay, I'll stop staring. <laughs> okay, okay, it's just that she's such a good dancer. I don't want to insult her by, you know, uh, looking away. New lands, new customs, you know. <laughs> what kind of an excuse was that? You're undressing her with your eyes. Not that it would take that long. You weren't zooming. <laughs> you weren't zooming in, were you? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But seriously, don't you think she's looked over here more than just a few times? I think she likes me. <laughs> Hmm. Bit of jealousy there, I think. Yeah, right. Vina, will you try and talk some sense into him? Do you really find it that hard to believe? Well, Vase is very attractive. <laughs> Oof. But I don't think it would be strange at all that a dancer was looking at him. <laughs> You're kidding, right? Vase wouldn't want someone like her. I mean, who knows where she's been? Ouch! Oof! Oh, um, I, I, uh, uh, um, do you travel a lot? <laughs> Tell me something. You wouldn't happen to be the group of air pirates that escaped from the Grand Fortress now, would you? We've seen that face before, haven't we? Huh. How did you know about that? Well, if you hang out in places like this, you overhear all kinds of things. Rumors, local gossip, news about other lands. You even hear stories about air pirates needing a ship. If you want, I can give you a lift. What do you say? Really? Uh, thanks. That'll help us out a lot. Wait a second. Why would you help us? You don't even know who we are. Let's just say anybody who can escape from the uh, Value and Grand Fortress interests me. My name is... Uh, Belenia. Belenia? Belena? Something like that. I'll begin making my preparations. Meet me at the port first thing tomorrow morning. See you around, handsome. Oof. Oh, damn. Vase is in for some action. I wonder what these guys think now. Hur, hur, hur. Who would have thought there'd be a beautiful girl like her out here in the desert? I'm glad I came to Maram. Marambia tonight. Yep, I'm, I guess you did. Those slender legs. Oh, for fuck's sake. I don't need to listen to him drivel on. You're lucky. Tonight's the first uh, quiet night here since uh, Belenia started. It's usually a packed place. Uh, she's some traveling dancer who started here two or three days ago. But what a piece of luck she's been for this old tavern. Yeah, that's uh, very coincidental, I think. There's some uh, Relic Loqua here. I guess the people here like their spicy 
Loka, I guess so. Right, let's get out of here. Let's go back to the main town. Or well, the main part of town, I suppose. I guess that's all we can do for now. But that's something else we can uh, mark off our old uh, map here. Let me in. I need to go to the inn. Ah, uh, actually, let's go drop our Dabu off. Dabu. See you later, sucker. I thoroughly used that beast of yours. Uh, I guess we could have another night at the inn and then head to the port. It seems like a wise decision. Kind of. Now, I don't think there's anything else to find here. Not yet, anyway. Wow. Okay. That fiddling around took an hour and a half, apparently. Welcome. Oh, Jesus, I'm tired. Uh, oh, yes. Uh, Bellinia mentioned you would be coming. Your room is ready. Stay the night. Sweet. <laughs> Ever since uh, Bellinia started dancing in Maraamba. My God, my dyslexia makes my pronunciations uh, like seriously one of a kind. More and more tourists have been coming and business has increased threefold. Since you're a friend of uh, Bell's, we're going to call her Bell from now. I will give you a special rate on your room. Sleep well. Okay, what's cool? What's the special rate? Ah, Captain. Captain who done us dirty. Huh. Huh. Huh, should have left those... Should I have left those kids there? Bruh, what am I worrying about? Somebody else will take care of them. But we were your crew, Captain. Hmm? Ooh. Whose ship is that? Wait, that ship? It looks like... Yes, it looks like a particular flying implement. Farewell, may the red moon fa forever light your path. Thanks, mate. I'm sure it will, or something. I love these menu sound effects. I really do. All right, let's blow this joint. Now, uh, let's go back to the dock, because we've pretty much done everything we can do here. Um, now, where is she? Apparently, she's got a ship ready for us. Really? Really? That old piece of shit? Well, I mean, I guess it's better than walking, right? Right? Ah, uh, it might not be better than walking. Probably not going to be better than walking. Good morning. Oh, God. I trust you slept well last night. It was the best night. Uh-huh. It was the best night's sleep I've had in a long time, so I guess we should get ready and start exploring the desert. Only those who have walked through the desert can truly know its size, is a saying we have here in Nassar. It's too difficult to cross the desert on foot because of the heat. A mere half day's walk can be deadly. You'll need a ship to cross it. A ship, huh? Uh, is this one yours? Mm. Ah, yes, it's not much, but it's very reliable. Huh. Ah, uh, Belena, 
Uh, Belle, why are you going out of your way to give us a ride? You don't even know us. Well. You aren't very grateful, are you? If I were dying of thirst and somebody offered you water, you'd probably ask where it came from first. What? Uh, she's, I guess she's got a point. Even though, to be fair, there's more than jealousy going on here. Icarus does seem to be a bit switched on. Alright, if you must know, then I'll tell you. My father was a soldier. He was a poor man and sometimes a little short-tempered. But he was a good man and a good father. We struggled to get by and my father was barely able to support us. We had nothing to rely on but each other. But we were happy. Until that day, 20 years ago. 20 years ago, Valio and Nassar declared war on each other and my father, my father was killed in battle. When he died, we had nothing. No food, nobody to support us, nobody to raise us. We had to live on the streets. Some say that you can't die from a broken heart, but they're wrong. My mother died shortly after my father. She was so sad. I was alone and scared. I had to fend for myself on the streets. And that's how I ended up living like this. Oh, Belle, we're so sorry. We had no idea. Do you smell that? Smell that? It smells like... Yeah, it smells like bullshit. Hmm. <laughs> Ica looks really embarrassed now. No, 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 don't worry about Ica. Ever since then, I've hated war. Hundreds of people die. Hundreds more families have to go through what I went through. And that's why I'm letting you know I want you to use my ship. Please. Ah. Uh, we'll do it. Thank you. Oh, so much. <sighs> but I'm sorry for what I said earlier. I, I shouldn't have spoken to you in that way. I lost my parents when I was young too, so I know what you went through. <laughs> yeah, that's quite all right. As long as you don't understand and don't take my generosity for granted. All right, everyone, get on board. The temple of uh, Perin lies far to the east, in the middle of the desert. Let's go. It does. This is accurate information. Now we're in this old tugboat thing. It's actually quite quick, to be honest. But there are some discoveries around here that we didn't get, which is unfortunate. But luckily, I now have, we got topple rock, didn't we? Did we get the wandering lake? I can't remember if we did. Yeah, that, that's the wandering lake. We got that. But there's a couple of other little things, I believe, that we can get. The Oasis, seventh discovery. Did we get the Oasis? I actually can't remember. But let's go look for it. Yeah, so we're looking for the Oasis. Which should be around here somewhere. Okay, man. I know you're here somewhere. There we go. You have found the Oasis! Uh, as shipbuilding developed and flight distances grew, the Oasis in the middle of the desert lost some of its importance to the travellers. But it is still critical to caravans on land routes and remains as lively as a centre of trade and information. Okay, go. Cool. Oh. Hey, nice. Okay, so one last discovery. Have we already got it? The samples? Yeah, apparently we already got the samples, which is curious. Oh no. Yep, we've got it. Cool. All right, let's get out of here. In fact, we're actually almost on half an hour again, aren't we? 
which is ah oh, god damn it let's take a rank up cura cool um we want I suppose we might as well go back to uh yeah marumba i guess yeah, might as well go back, sell our information, we call it a video, and then in the next video we will make our way. Ah, oh, god damn it. <laughs> well that certainly came down to the wire. Bloody stone beaks. Still is what it is, I guess. Right. Where the bloody hell there it is. That is, as long as we can actually dock. Yeah, we can. Cool. So we can sell our discovery, save the game. And I can meet you guys back here. Excellent. I'm not sure how much this discovery is worth. Oi, wake up. Um, now. So we should be able to sell that one. Ah, oh, it's not worth... Ah, oh, not that bad, actually. Right, there you go, dude. You can let the whole world know. So we've got nothing to sell. And we've found everything so far. So we're up to date, basically, on our discoveries, which is good. Okay, now I wonder if we can buy anything for our crappy ship. Uh, welcome, how goes the sailing? So you wish to buy cannons to blast enemies out of the skies? Well, oh yeah, okay, so... We can't. <laughs> I did wonder if he was going to, like, take the piss out of our little ship or something, but I guess not. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. When we come back, well, we're going to go to the temple and make some discoveries, I guess. So, till then, guys. Thanks for watching.